Hey everybody, DJ Porkchop. Ray, hanging out with you today on this, uh, what are we, Monday afternoon. Um, been a while since I did a video. Um, camera works just fine. My computer hasn't been playing nice with me, so I think I got it straightened up. Uh, just buy a new one, right? Well, I could, but I don't feel like it. Um, so what's going on? This is the Boston Scientific Stimulator. One year post-op. Uh, update my 14 week post op video gets hammered with views and that's really awesome I'm glad everybody checks that out um, hopefully they check this one year update out too because there's a, a lot more to a stimulator than a 14 week update I'm only one year into it now just I'm about a year and a month I'm this is like my 13 month actually pardon me briefly sorry um, so what's been going on with me since that 14 week? Well, I've got a playlist. You can go back and check out all my other... I've journey, I've documented everything along the way as far as my uh, spinal cord stimulator journey goes. Um, so a year later, where was I then and where am I now? Then, before my journey started, um, I was in so much pain that sometimes not all the time anybody I, never mind uh sometimes whenever i would go to take a step pardon my dog it's a nice day i brought her out with me i would step down and it would just hurt my back so severely bad i would just get sick i would literally vomit that's how bad the pain was uh pain control was nil it's very very hard pain control i didn't have no pain pump people talk about pain pump I, don't know. I didn't know what one of them were until somebody mentioned it well after I had got my stimulator. Why? Because where I live down here, no one gives you pain meds. Their answer to pain is physical therapy. Go do more activity so you hurt even worse. Um, I get it, keeping moving actually loosens you up, but man, when your mechanics are destroyed, they're destroyed. Moving's not going to help them, so I guess that's a two front argument. But anyway, so no pain pump for, for Ray, no uh, meds were scarce, gabapentin didn't work for me, uh, cyclobenzaprine to relax the muscles, Ugh, very little, um, you know, and uh, now, fast forward a year, uh, I'm up and moving, <laughs> needless to say, I'm up and moving, I've, I've dropped, uh, Right at probably 55, 60 pounds since I've got my uh, stimulator. I don't know if you go back in the other videos. You can probably tell just by looking at my face from them videos to now. Maybe not. But uh, I drive, I'm probably 55, 60 pounds. I go to the hospital three days a week and I use their uh, cardiopulmonary rehab facilities. Um, I walk on a treadmill usually for an hour a day or... If I don't do an hour a day, I do at least 40 minutes or 35, and then I do 15 minutes of a total body fitness bike where you use your arms to pedal with, and then you also pedal with your feet. <coughs> Pardon me. And that also has helped me with my upper back as well, that thoracic issue I was telling you about on the bra strap cut. Anybody who's not familiar with the thoracic issue and the bra strap cut, you can go back and check out some of my other videos. It's been a it's been a nag of mine ever since I've got this spinal cord stimulator. Where, right where your bra strap would be, you know, in the back, they cut me open and put my leads in. I don't have a paddle. I got the two leads. Uh, I don't even know what the hell they call those. I'm not, I'm not up on all these fancy terms. I'm an uninformed patient. Um, so the pedaling and moving my arms quite a bit has actually helped with that. I'm, I don't have, whenever I come out here to the shop, I don't have to put my back up against the cinder wall anymore and gasp for air like I used to, you know, like do one of those. It's not like that anymore. Uh, but that's pretty much gone away. There's the old dog again. Um, then, um, sciatic was so bad down my right leg, it felt like somebody was gripping my right leg with a pair of like uh, vice grips or something and just clamping down and then just twisting and twisting and twisting and just ripping my leg off at the hip 
um, it has hurt so freaking bad. I, I, I like to consider myself a, a, I once had a doctor tell me, you're big and tough, you can take the pain. Well, I got big and tough so I wouldn't have to take the pain, right? Man, when you got sciatica like that, mm, buddy, anybody who knows, knows that it's horrible. Um, now, nope, it's, I have no sciatica. Um, and going back to then, when I, now that I'm going to go to then when I first got my stimulator, I had the trial, you know, the trial was the trial. You just got to work your way through it. How you got to figure out how to sleep, which it really is a big deal. Um, you know, your sleep and this and that. Most, a lot of people wear them for like three to five days. I had mine in for 14 days to trial. And when they took it out, I wanted to bash somebody in the face because I was in instant pain instantly. Um, I wanted it back in. <laughs> um, I had to wait almost a month to get my permanent implant. But anyway, uh, when I first got it, I had that damn remote control. Now I've got to carry my cell phone. I got this extra big old honking remote control. Some spinal cord stimulators, you can actually control it with an app on like an iPod or your Apple phone. I'm not an Apple person. And mine is Boston Scientific. I don't know about all them other brands, so I can't even tell you about them. Mine's the uh, MRI Mirage or some something like that. Um, but we don't have that app stuff. We still are tethered to a remote control. Now, to fast forward to today. I've been programmed so many times over the course of the last year. I, I don't want to say that I found my settings, but I have found my settings. Um, they'll get reprogrammed again. This, this is a journey. Notice I keep saying journey. This is never going to end for you. It'll never end. Um, you're on a journey. It's <laughs> is what it is. If you're not prepared for a journey, I, I don't know that I would recommend something like this. Um, you have to be dedicated to it. You get out of it exactly what you put in it. But anyway, going back to that remote, um, before I used to have to be in my pocket, in you know, my pants pocket, in my shirt pocket, take it in the vehicle with, take it here, take it there. I sit in and forget it like the old Ronco rotisserie. I don't, I barely, I didn't got it out here with me right now. I don't, I'm not, I don't, feel, you know, I punch myself in the leg. I can stand up. I can move around I can stand here at the bench I'm sitting right now because I'm lazy but anyway I can get up and do it and it don't hurt and I don't I'm not worried about that remote I'm not tethered to it um the charging going back to a year ago the charging I had I had the swelling and I didn't take that in consideration because I was new and I was getting pissed off about it too I couldn't get it to charge the only way I could get it to charge I'm a great big guy too I'm a, I was great bigger back then I had to bend over like a 90 degree angle, and when you get a fresh implant in your back, you ain't wanting to bend over at a 90 degree angle, trust me. So I had to bend over at a 90 degree angle. The belt would, was not an option. It was absolutely not an option. I had to use them stickies, stick them to my back, get it to quit beeping and slowly stand up and then sit on in a recliner with a pillow behind me just to keep it contact. Now, I stick that, stick it on, I get up, go, I can do the dish, I can stand up, do the dishes, I can load the laundry. I, I've come out here to the shop. I don't care to do that because I don't want it to fall off me if I get sweaty and hit the deck and bust. That little charger is out rip in the thousands. It's very expensive, so don't break it. Um, so charging is not a big deal no more. Um, traveling, well, a lot of people report they can travel some say they can't you know this that mixed reviews just i'll get into that in here in a second too my issue is because now my sciatic joints are bad and my insurance company's battling me to get those fixed and so now i got a spinal fusion done i got the uh, stimulator done i'm three quarters of the way fixed and then my insurance company stopped short they're like nah sorry there's a little taste of uh life back and now we're gonna shut you off so uh, I'm lock my hips are locking up on me, and uh, but it is what it is. Nonetheless, I'm still getting along with life now. I'm living life. I'm not sitting in a chair watching it go by now. I'm actually getting up and doing crap. Um, I do sit on my duff and play my PS4 a lot. Don't get me wrong. 
I'm a GTA buff. Uh, I belong to a crew called the Real Rich Gang. Million dollar everything. Shout out. But uh, that's another video for another day. Um, you know, I I do that and I uh, hang out in the house a lot. But uh, it's been cr the weather's been crappy. You know, so I've been feeling uh, pain a lot more than what I was previously when because the weather did get nice and it broke you know and i was able to come out here and move and move and move nice day today and now my pain level is a lot less but i noticed the more i sit on my duff the more it hurts and then i gotta start playing with that remote control and working with my settings um so but all in all it's not doing bad for me i got 16 programs available on my remote control of which i've only got eight used so I don't reckon I'm doing too bad. Um, I really don't know how, what, uh, what, how far else I can go into my journey with. I mean, you know, realistically, um, I got this thing. So, I got this thing so I could get back and uh, live my life again. Uh, I believed at first it was total quack medicine because I listened to they. Um, we all know who they and this one guy is. You know, who, who told you that? Ah, oh, this one guy. You know, uh, or uh, they say. You know who? You know what they say? Well, the problem is I listened to they so long, they got me bed bound. You know, I thought this thing was quack medicine because they said it didn't work. They said it was a pile of crap. Don't do it. Don't do it. It'll kill you. Well... I, you know, my life was so far in the tubes, I was ready to cash my chips in and be done with it. It was My life was essentially pretty much over. So I actually tell people that this stimulator, I would go out on a limb and say it, it pretty much was a lifesaver for me. Now, you will hear a lot of people tell you how crappy it is. It didn't work, didn't work, didn't work, didn't work. Well, why? Well, it just didn't work. Well, some people it won't. It's not a miracle cure. That's another point I need to bring up with me, too. It's not a miracle cure. So now to keep, keep in mind, I was a skeptic from day one when I got this thing. I was a total skeptic, but what do you got to lose when you're ready to cash your chips? But, uh, so anyway, these people keep telling you it won't work, it won't work. This... This surgery is unlike any other. My buddy Joe, Joseph Aborg, check his channel out. I'll drop a link. Um, he and I have talked about it before, too. When you get a hip replacement or a knee replacement, that's exactly what you get. You get it replaced. You get nursed in the hospital. You go home. You heal up, and you're on your merry way. You got a new hip or you got a new knee. Yay for you. Go live your life. When you get a spinal cord stimulator, you get out of it what you put into it. It's a very, very personal surgery. You do get it in the hospital. You pretty much don't get nursed in the hospital. They send you home. Sometimes you get kept overnight. Sometimes people stay days, which is pretty rare. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, though, so don't take my word for that, please. Um, but... The problem is, a lot of these people that keep nagging and saying it didn't work for them, it didn't work for them, is because they didn't, we, you, we have what's called the no BLTs rule, bending, lifting, twisting, not bacon, lettuce, tomato, it's bending, lifting, twisting. Well, Einstein's like me that felt like a million bucks, I haven't felt like that in decades, right? I come home, I got a 2004 GMC Envoy, the water pump, or the uh, power steering pump, was bad, I need a new serpentine. I'm out here stripping a truck apart three days after I got an implant. Brilliant, right? Um, I could have jeopardized that whole entire surgery, and guess what? I would have been one of them people, I would have been one of they who would have been on the forum saying, don't get that, it don't work, it don't work, it don't work. Why? Because I was a bonehead and didn't make it work because I didn't listen to my damn doctor. So I'm not saying that's the case with everybody, but a lot of people, it is. And they're not going to come clean and tell you that. So being, if you haven't got a stimulator yet and you're even considering one, be informed. Get yourself informed. Don't listen to they. Okay? Do your research first. Talk to as many people as you can talk to. Talk to doctors. Talk to reps. Call companies. Get on the phones with them. Talk, 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 talk. Be informed, which is one thing I wasn't. 
you know I've had this thing a year now like I've been saying I literally just found out three months ago that I can actually have an MRI I, I was told I could I did I couldn't by one person and then I talked to a Boston Scientific rep he got on his little phone pulled my info up punched a little button got right through to his uh, company and she's like yep he can have an MRI blah 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 so see there you get in don't be like me get in the best patient gets the best results the, the most educated patient gets the best results nine out of ten times so anyway once again is it a miracle cure no I still have crappy days I was gonna throw the S word in there but I'll keep it clean I have crappy days um, I was told right up front this is for nerve pain only it's not for mechanical issues like arthritis uh, shitty joints and well there we go throw an S word in anyway right uh, bad joints or anything of the such like if uh, if I got two rusty bolts and I shoot a electric bolt through it is it gonna fix them rusty bolts no right might weld them but it's not gonna fix them some people actually do report they get pain relief from for mechanical issues great on them but that's not what these things are actually made for um, so no I don't live a pain-free life I still have pain um, is with as many problems as I have for me to even be able to get up and walk I, that's a blessing I'll deal with a little bit of pain I'm a big boy I can take it it's not debilitating by no means not anymore um, I still got arthritis in my spine that's gonna hurt always there's no magical cure for that. It's gonna hurt. People get you. Get, you're gonna get old. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> you know. Trust me. I've seen enough people go through it. People get old. It happens. There. Look around you. People hurt. Um, look at look at their medicine cabinet. That'll tell you. But anyway. So yeah. No. It's not a miracle cure. Um, now, do I take pain meds the way I used to? Nope. Um, I was able to get them after a while. But I, you know, like six a day now. I don't think I've swallowed a pain pill now and probably safe to say I'll pro probably a month month and a half and that's even with my sciatic joints locking up on me um, probably a month month and a half I do I do take a volume every now and again because it helps me relax a little bit and it eases the tension on my muscles and my back um, so that helps a little but that's pretty rare I even take one of those um, just because but anyway I don't know what else I can what else I can tell you where I'm at now in this in a year into it um, you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm up and enjoying life <laughs> well the best I can uh, get, getting ready to do a trip down you know uh, you know here and there I, you know parts unknown we'll just say that so uh, yeah, but what I am going to do is I'm going to kick up another video. If I can get this one uploaded on my computer, I'm going to do another video. If, well, if you see it, I guess you're going to see the other one too, huh? It's going to be a two-part. It's going to be a tell-all. Basically, on my videos, people ask a lot of questions. And I try to answer them as fast as I can. Something slipped by me. I try to answer them as fast as I can, and I've been writing all these questions down. i got a great big old list of like 20, 30 questions, and I'm going to break it down into two videos. You know, two, I'm going to two-part it and try to answer them questions the best I can. Um, now, please keep in mind anything I say, I'm not a doctor. And as a matter of fact, I didn't even stay at a Holiday Inn last night. Um, so don't take anything I say as medical advice, please. I mean, look at me, I'm sitting in a garage. You know, wearing a camouflage hat with an American flag on it, with a rebel flag on it. Um, you know, <laughs> so please don't. I'm, I'm not a doctor. You know, any serious questions like that, I highly recommend you get a hold of your doctor. There's a good chance I'm not going to know. If you ask me a question like what I've been through, you know, hey, how'd you sleep? What's, you know, what this or that? I can take a shot at answering that for you, but anything medical-wise, mm -mm. I'm not even going to take a shot at it because I don't know. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and shut up and try to get this video uploaded and uh, unedited too. I'm going to leave it be because I don't think I did a real bad job. Slightly ADD. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and roll with it. But uh, anyway, 
With that said, I'm going to get out here and go get me a cup of Death Wish Coffee. OG Blend. Usually it would be Valhalla job this late in the day, but we're going to roll with OG Death Wish. So, with that, I appreciate everyone tuning in. Uh, check out the rest of my Spinal Cord Stimulator Journey playlist if you haven't yet. If you're new to the channel or anything like that, uh, anybody, if you know anybody considering a Spinal Cord Stimulator, if they've been talked to about it and trying to fence, have give me a shout. I'm always available. Uh, I'm, I, I have my phone handy at all times. If you leave a comment, whatever, it will go right through to my phone. And generally speaking, I hit most people back within 5-10 minutes. So sometimes not though. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out here. Y'all have a fantastic day and uh, we'll catch you on the flip-flop. DJ Porkchop.